what's going on guys welcome back to the channel now today we're going to be going over yet again another epic variant the Mauler Sentinel which we saw in Wednesday's update now we got another brand new unique perk to this gun called slicer and what that will do is fire five bullets in a vertical line instead of firing one bullet at a time like so so this is actually really cool I'm doing really well with it it is a highly recommend epic to get I mean, I'm not a huge LMG guy, so I wouldn't really say it's your first epic, but if you're into LMGs, this is probably one of the best. Now, as you can imagine, while you're aiming down the sights, the further away you are shooting, the further the bullet spread between those five bullets will be. So if you're in a close range battle, or if you're turning the corner and shooting somebody, chances are you're going to hit them with four to five bullets. Now, when it comes to medium range, you're looking at about three to four and then the longer range, the longer away you get, you're looking at like two to three, maybe even one bullet, especially if you come across head glitchers or chest glitchers, anybody hiding behind like a box or something, it's really tough for this gun. Now alongside with this perk, we also get a decreased fire rate, so I'm going to compare this next to just one of the rare models that has nothing to do with fire rate, and you're going to see with the rare model, with the rare variant, we can shoot all 80 bullets by the time the Sentinel shoots 50. So that is 30 extra rounds that has to go through, which is a pretty large decrease in fire rate. And as you can imagine, it is faster than the Mauler Mammoth. So it's like a happy medium, not as fast as the regular variants, but not as slow as the Mauler Mammoth. Now the first point I want to bring up about this weapon is, even though you're shooting five bullets in a vertical line at once, every time you pull the trigger, you only lose one bullet from the magazine. So I thought that was really interesting. I would have figured you would have lost five bullets at a time and they maybe would have given you a slightly larger magazine to have like a, a positive and a negative. But nope, you keep the same exact magazine size as all the other variants and you only shoot one bullet at a time. So it's kind of like a win-win. But that brings up the big question of how much damage does each individual bullet do? I did a little bit of testing and the best way I can explain is that each individual bullet does about 25 to 30% of the normal damage of a bullet. So hitting the enemy with four bullets in this vertical spread is equal to hitting an enemy with just a regular bullet from any other variant. Now in a close range combat, if you hit an enemy with all five bullets in this vertical line, now you're gonna have to be really close to them, but you're gonna be able to kill them in one less shot because you're doing about 125% damage per shot with these five vertical bullets. Now again, that's really just gonna benefit you in the close range game where you can actually hit the enemy with five bullets and it does have a nice tight spread when firing aiming down the sights you know that short to medium range so you can also benefit from that but chances are if you're shooting like a medium range long range enemies usually hide behind something or there's something blocking them you don't have a full view of their body so chances of you getting all five bullets in are really tough and just to explain the testing that I did I hopped into a custom game with a buddy and I stood directly in front of him and I used one of the rare Mahler variants and it took me four shots to shoot him in the chest, in the groin. I tried it both times, four shots. Now, when I switched over to Sentinel and I was right in front of him and I hit him with all five bullets, it only took three shots. And then I slowly backed up in about medium range, aiming down the sights. I was still able to hit him with all five bullets, which was nice. I mean, obviously they have to be in the wide open, but it still took three shots. So it was about 125% damage if you hit him with all five bullets in that spread. Now, like I was saying, once you get to the long range game and once you get into head glitchers, there's no way possible you can hit them with all five bullets. And that's kind of where this thing is flawed. But again, it has to have a positive and a negative side to this perk. But don't get me wrong, this is an awesome gun. It's pretty much an LMG made for close to medium range. And I say that because we also get the secondary perk of haste, which increases your movement speed. So it, it makes you want to run. And while you're using the Merc Rig and his Man at Arms, you're going to be able to move very quickly with the Haste perk because you don't have any moving and pairing effects because of the heavy LMG. And, you know, I just found it to be really, really just an awesome variant. And I'm a running gun guy. I, I don't really camp too much. So I found it very useful in those medium range fights. So as far as setting up a class and what I've been using with this gun, with this gameplay, is I always throw stock and quick draw and that really helps because you do have to run around like I was saying with this gun this is not the normal campy type of LMG you see you need to be active with this it works extremely well in the close range so it requires you to be running around so I had quick draw I had the stock 
On top of that, I had four grip just to reduce some of the recoil. And then I threw on extended mags, which will bump up the magazine from 80 to 120, just so there's a little less reloading going on. On top of that, I was using the Merc rig, using his reactive armor and the Man at Arms. The Man at Arms is just awesome for ammo consumption as well as running around with an LMG. I feel like it really only benefits LMGs and snipers, LMGs more so, so using the Man at Arms is ideal for this class setup. But that's going to be a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you can get it in a supply drop. I would say you do want to craft it with salvage, but it's not going to be your first gun you want to craft. Like, if you're anything like me, I stick with the ARs, I stick with the SMGs. Those are always crafted first. So, I mean, if you really like the LMGs, like you're crazy about LMGs, go ahead and go for this variant. It's probably, it's, it might be the top LMG variant right now. And it's just, it's just deadly. So, really highly recommended to get this. But again, if you're anything like me, you know, wait to get the LMGs. You don't really need it right off the bat. But that's going to be a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It always helps. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.